The aftermath of a night spent at Club New York in Manhattan in 1999, which turned out to be a scene straight out of a movie, continues to reverberate as time passes. The most important players, Jennifer Lopez, who was known as J-Lo at the time, and Sean Diddy Combs, who was still known as Puff Daddy at the time, formed a partnership. But let's take a step back for a moment. Hi there, and welcome back to Relax Brew. Diddy and his group, which included his ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, were having a good time at the club when the evening started off in a manner that was completely innocent. In spite of this, tensions began to rise as the night went on. During the confrontation, Diddy engaged in a conflict with a man named Scar, a tough ex-convict from Brooklyn. Witnesses claimed that Scar physically assaulted Diddy by tossing money in his face and insulting him about his spending habits. The scenario gradually became more serious, resulting in a heated debate and, eventually, the sound of gunfire, which descended upon the club and caused it to descend into anarchy. While everything was going on, Diddy and Jennifer made an attempt to get out of there as quickly as possible in the beautiful Lincoln Navigator that Diddy was driving. However, the police interrupted their flight by stopping them for running a red light. This led to their apprehension. Diddy's arrest was brought about as a result of the discovery of a stolen firearm and handcuffs concealed within the trunk. Chaos reigned that night, with accusations flying in all directions and fingers pointing in all directions. The legal aftermath was just as tumultuous as the initial event. Ditty, Rappershine and Bodyguard Wolf all faced charges related to the nightclub shooting. In spite of the growing body of evidence and testimony, the prosecution continued to take unrelenting action against them. During the terrible 14 hours that she was held in jail before the allegations against her were dropped, Jennifer Lopez found herself caught in the crossfire. After that, however, the consequences did not stop there. As Diddy and his legal team vehemently contested the claims, the trial was a high-stakes affair with no room for error. It was a chaotic and dangerous situation that drove them to take action, and they stated that they had no choice but to defend themselves. A stunning turn of events resulted in Diddy and Wolf being exonerated of all allegations, and they were able to escape without any injuries. The situation was not as favourable for Shine, however. The conviction on firearms charges resulted in a 10-year prison sentence for him, despite the fact that he has maintained his innocence. Diddy's reputation was severely damaged as a result of the trial, and issues regarding his character were brought to light as a result of the consequences. A great number of people hypothesised that he had put Shine under the bus in order to save himself. Doubts continued to exist even after he had won the case in court, with whispers circulating about possible cover-ups and hidden agendas. In Jennifer Lopez's life, the events that transpired on that particular evening were defining moments. Following the conclusion of the trial, she and Diddy went their separate ways. Nonetheless, the incident continued to haunt both of them. Accusations and rumours circulated, which posed a risk to their reputations and may potentially wreck their careers. The shouts of support and solidarity, however, could be heard even in the thick of the mayhem. Jennifer Lopez was defended by Gan Dill, a figure associated with the music industry, who recounted Lopez's tenacity and bravery in the face of adversity before speaking out in her support. He regarded her as a formidable opponent who was not afraid to roll up her sleeves and get to work. He said that she was determined to succeed. The tenacity and perseverance that had sustained her through the most difficult times of her career were shown through his words, which provided a glimpse into his character. However, the showdown did not come to an end with the trial. Diddy and Jennifer were thrust back into the public eye after a number of years when fresh lawsuits and allegations surfaced. A former associate of Diddy's named Rodney Lil Rod Jones asserted that Diddy had admitted to his role in the shooting and implicated Jennifer as well. Jones also claimed that Diddy had named Jennifer as a suspect. Because of the charges, there has been a renewed interest in the case among the general public, which has led to additional investigation and speculation. In the middle of the legal fights and the media hysteria, fresh voices have emerged, demanding that justice be served to the victims of the massacre that occurred in the nightclub.
a number of survivors, like Natanya Ruin, have come forward to share their own experiences of being subjected to abuse and harassment at the hands of Diddy. A disturbing picture of unbridled power and violence is painted by her charges, which shed new light on the events that transpired on that tragic night. In spite of the fact that the investigation was still ongoing, concerns continued to be raised regarding the involvement that Diddy and Jennifer played in the events that day. Should we consider them to be innocent bystanders who were caught up in a sad chain of events, or should we consider them to be more profoundly involved than they let on? It was impossible to get a clear picture of reality since it was buried beneath layers of legal wrangling and media speculation. A cautionary tale about fame, power and the consequences of one's conduct, the legacy of that night continues to survive despite the passing of time. A chapter that Diddy and Jennifer Lopez were unable to completely close cast a cloud over their careers and reputations. It was a chapter that they could never totally end. In spite of this, there were instances of resiliency and redemption that occurred in the midst of the chaos. These instances served as reminders that the human spirit is resilient even in the most difficult of circumstances. What I've learned about the incident that occurred at the club is the extent of the animosity that it caused among individuals who were involved on that occasion. The sincerity with which Ice Cube conveyed to Jennifer the gravity of the issue is illuminated by reports from those with knowledge of the situation. Listen, Jay, I need to be honest with you, the rapper said in a moment of forthrightness of expression. The current predicament is not something to be laughed at. It was clear that Ice Cube was concerned about Jennifer's emotional and physical well-being. He cautioned her to proceed with extreme caution, highlighting the gravity of the legal issues that were the subject of discussion. When it comes to business, these legal sharks are serious. It is imperative that you safeguard not only yourself, but also all that you have constructed, he stressed. Ice Cube's statements had weight because he had seen an excessive number of excellent people lose their lives as a result of the instability that the industry was experiencing. The significance of being one step ahead of the competition, carefully considering her choices and not allowing herself to be brought down by the actions of others, was often emphasized to Jennifer by him. It is imperative that you maintain your strength and fight for your heritage, Jay, because it will not be an easy task. It is possible for you to achieve success, however, you must maintain a level of intelligence in order to do so. Ice Cube's advice served as a wake-up call for Jennifer, which was a really sobering experience. His statements carried a great deal of weight because of his broad knowledge and the respect he enjoyed in the rap industry. As a result of taking his warning seriously, Jennifer most certainly started re-evaluating her strategy for dealing with the legal issues she was facing. Puff, on the other hand, approached Jennifer in a more personal manner. In an effort to locate her, he made use of her personal assistant, sending her presents such as a dozen roses and even making an attempt to recruit Luther Vross to perform a concert for her. It is possible that his actions appeared to be romantic at first glance, yet they also gave the impression that he was more concerned about Jennifer's well-being in the midst of the upheaval that was occurring around her. The severity of Jennifer's situation was brought into sharper focus by Ice Cube's assistance. In essence, he was sounding the alarm by intervening, and he was alerting Jennifer of the danger that she would face if she did not proceed with caution. The potential legal repercussions and damage to her reputation that could arise from her involvement in the nightclub event were not unjustified, which is why his fear was warranted. There is no doubt that Jennifer Lopez's role in the incident that occurred at the nightclub is a complicated one. Her involvement with the club and the events that took place there have undoubtedly garnered a significant amount of interest and curiosity, despite the fact that the specifics may differ depending on who you ask. Considering the difficulties she encounters in the sector, some people would question her judgment or engagement, while others might give support or sympathy. When taken as a whole, this circumstance sheds light on the complexities and difficulties that come with navigating the entertainment industry, which is a place where reputations can be established or destroyed virtually overnight. Without a doubt, Jennifer's reaction to the event, as well as the guidance she receives from reliable sources such as Ice Cube, will affect how she navigates the upcoming storm.
Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.